Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I have my highlight collection video. Now these, I'm only pulling out my drugstore ones for right now, and I'm just gonna go through every single drugstore highlight that I own, both powder and cream and liquid, and tell you what I would recommend and what I think you should stay away from. So it really is my best and worst of drugstore highlighter. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up. I've done one previously, a drugstore foundation collection, best and worst. I will link that below if you're interested to see all of those. I think I had 16 different drugstore foundations. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around for more drugstore and high-end makeup videos and reviews, and let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start with some e.l.f. products. I have a couple of e.l.f. highlighters, and people talk really highly about these, and I don't love them as much as other people do. Um, these are the e.l.f. Baked Highlighters. These retail for $4. They have four different shades. And I have the shade Blush Gems, and it's a more kind of bronzy highlight. And then I also have the shade Moonlight Pearls, which is a lot more of an ivory champagne highlight. Now, the reason I had beef with these bad boys was because when I first got them, I didn't know you had to scrape off the top layer of this baked product. And so a lot of you guys told me that and I'm like, you know, that's kind of ridiculous that you buy a product and you have to work to get them to work the way they should have worked in the first place. So I think because of that, it bothers me. I've bought tons of baked products, even ones that are, you know, within the same price range. I think of like hard candy baked products and I've never had to scrape off a layer to get it to work. And I think that's what bothered me about these. You guys know I love e.l.f. There are so many e.l.f. products that I adore but it really kind of was like, really? They don't like have a machine that will do that for them so it's ready to go? Because not everyone watches YouTube videos and looks things up online to know that you have to scrape it off. So a lot of people would try it and be like, what, this doesn't work. And then they would just give it away or throw it away or return it. Um, so, however, once you do scrape off the top layer, these are absolutely gorgeous. I think I like blush gems better than Moonlight Pearls. It's a little bit more of a deeper color but I think it's just a little bit more pigmented, at least the one I have. These are nice. These are not like kaboom in your face highlighters. They're kind of in the middle. So I like that for that reason. I think they are pretty. Now, do I reach for these very often? Not really. Um, I have so many other powders that are even more buttery and even more of what I want, whether I want like a really light highlighter look or I want a really va va voom highlighter look. Those are right in the middle, so I just don't reach for them very often. The next one is also from e.l.f. So after they released those, a couple years later they released their shimmer highlighting powders. These retail for $6. They have three shades, but as I'm filming this, it looks like the deepest shade is sold out currently. But I have the other two shades. The, the one that's sold out right now, the darkest one, is called Bronzed Glow. So I have the lightest one, which is called Starlight Glow. And these, they claim to be really lightweight which I would agree, I mean, they're, they don't kick up a lot of powder. They definitely have a nice shimmer to them without having any glitter, which is why they're called a shimmer highlight. But the next shade up is Sunset Glow, which is a little bit deeper, more of a golden tone. They're not super different, but there definitely is a difference in them, and you can see in the swatches. I will say this, I like these better than the baked ones. The packaging on this is a little bit more substantial. There's a mirror, and you don't have to work at them, and I really appreciate that. And again, like I said, these don't kick up a lot of powder. They're a really thin layer, so they end up staying in place pretty well throughout the day, and I just like them. So the next e.l.f. product is their Illuminating Palette. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. It has four different highlights in it. It retails for $6, and what's amazing is it has four different tones. So you really can do a lot with this. Now, this is not a completely shimmer palette. These are really more of like a satin finish. I wouldn't call any of these shimmery. The, mo the closest to shimmer you'll get is this shade here, and even that one's not. It really is more of a satin finish. So in my opinion, the idea behind this is more to be used as to brighten, but not necessarily to add shimmer to them. These do kick up a decent amount of powder, and not enough that it's a turn off, but it definitely does. They are a little bit powdery, but they also still have a lot of pigment to them. So it's kind of both of those in one is okay. Now, if they were powdery and they didn't show up, then that'd be different. But I think this is pretty cool. For six bucks, you get four different shades. I like to use the lighter shade here to set my under eye from time to time because it's not glittery or shimmery. Um, I'll use it down the bridge of my nose to highlight that part. Um, I like 
these middle, the kind of medium shades. I'll use this as a highlight if I want to look a lot more natural where it just brightens the area but doesn't add any shimmer or glitter. So I think it's a cool product. If you're looking for shimmer, however, you won't like that. So it just depends on what you're looking for. The last e.l.f. product I have is their, what do they call it? Liquid highlighter. It is $4, there's one shade, and the idea of this is it's a liquid, but it's oil-based. So it definitely, you can tell it's oil-based. However, because of that, it has this really cool glow. Now, if you have oily skin, oil plus oil equals way too much oil. But if you've got normal or dry skin, and I think maybe combination, I think this could work as long as you're really strategic about where you place it. I really like this stuff. It's like a different look than any other product I've ever tried, but especially like in the winter when your skin's already dry, if you're like me, I think it has a really nice glow that, like I said, it's just a very different look than anything else because of that oil, um, because of the fact that it's oil-based. So the next product that is absolutely horrible, and I mean horrible, is this Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix-In Drops in Radiant. I have gotten so many tweets, snaps, Instagram messages from you guys telling me that you had the same problem I had. So it tells me it's not just that I got a bad batch or it's been sitting there a long time or maybe all of ours have been sitting in Walmart for too long, but no matter how long you shake this thing up, I'm talking like I swear I sat here and shook it up for like a couple of minutes. It's a dropper and I have their like drops that are like foundation drops and they're, they're fine. These are the weirdest, grossest consistency you will ever see. It is disgusting. So you can't even get like a good sense of how they work because they're this horrible oily but like with a little bit of pigment. It's just really bad. Really bad. So I don't know what is going on with these. I don't know how these are still on the shelves. I freaking love hard candy. Maybe they don't know what's going on or maybe when they're coming out of the factory or whatever, they're, they don't look like this. And maybe it is from sitting there, I don't know, but it's really bad. So stay far, far away for now. I'm sure they will eventually fix this. Cause like I said, I love hard candy. I love so many of their products, but this one I was like, ooh, I don't think they meant for that to be like that. This next product is from NYX. This one is very new to me, but I adore it. It's the NYX Dose of Dew Face Gloss. And it's just a stick and it's got, it's kind of angled. And by kind of, I mean it's completely angled. And it's just one of those sticks where you can just kind of stick it on. If you want to put it straight on, you can put it on your hand and, and kind of dab it onto your face. It's not glittery, it just has this glow. So I think the term face gloss is the perfect term for it because that's what it looks like, but it doesn't, it's glossy in the way that it looks, but it doesn't feel like you just put a lip gloss on your face. You know what I'm saying? So it just gives that effect without actually being a gloss. Oh my dear, my next one is from Essence. It's their Pure Nude Highlighter. These are, what is it? On Ulta's website, it's $4.49. It's a domed product. It is the most beautiful, highlight for every day. Beautiful. Because it doesn't have glitter. It just has this gorgeous beige-like shimmer. It You can never look too heavy-handed with it, and yet you look so beautiful and glowy. I don't even know how to swatch it to do it justice, honestly, because it's one of those things that you just have to see on the face. It's so pretty, you guys. It's so finely milled. It reminds me of hourglass powders because you get your brush in it and it just spreads evenly and perfectly over your face. It doesn't look too concentrated in any one area. It's so easy to use, and yet you look like a supermodel. It's that kind of supermodel glow that you're like, are they even wearing highlighter? Oh my gosh. It's That's what this does. It's so beautiful, and it's under $5. I can't believe there's this good of a highlight for under $5. Yes, I can, because we find all kinds of amazing products, but even still, amazing. If you haven't picked it up, go pick it up. The next one I'm going to mention is from L'Oreal. It's the True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. It's a prime and highlight. I only use it for highlighting. I don't prime with it. Um, I have it in the shade Ice. They have three different shades, and this retails for $12.99. Of course, you can get it for cheaper depending on where you go. I'm just looking at Ulta's website. Um, but the other shades they have, they have a more rosy tone one called Rose, and they have a more golden one called golden. This is a great product. It has a similar effect to the Becca highlighting liquid or any of those kinds of products. You don't have to spend that kind of money. These do the same thing. They last just as long. You just want to find a shade that uh, accentuates your skin tone the best. 
Um, for me, I think this one's nice. I, I'd be interested to try rose and golden. I don't know that golden would work, but I would be interested to try rose for sure. But these pack a huge punch. I mean, you can see from a distance how much of a punch they pack. Again, you can put it on a lot lighter if you put it on your hand and dab it on with a sponge. Clearly, I'm a big proponent for that because that's my favorite way to apply these so that they still look natural. They don't look like a stripe on your skin. Because for me, I didn't use cream highlighters for a long time because I was intimidated by them. I wasn't sure, you know, how do you put them on without it messing up everything else? And that is the best way I have found to put them on. So I totally recommend this, but I would say wait for a sale uh, or use a coupon, buy it somewhere where it's cheaper because I think they're great, but I think $13 is a little bit steep for that. The next product is one of my all time favorites, drugstore high end aside, doesn't matter. I love this. It's the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips natural nude palette. It's a palette for face and eyes because you can totally use each of these, like, is it 12 shades for eyeshadows? They're really small. It comes with a brush in the back and a little like eye brush if you really wanted it. Um, I just use it as a highlight. Honestly, I've got plenty of eye palettes. This is so beautiful. If you keep to the lighter shades, you can get a lighter highlight. If you keep to the darker shades, you can get a deeper highlight. And if you mix it all together, you get a really pretty kind of bronzy gold. You could almost wear this as a blush. I mean, there's so much you can do with it, but the best part is it looks so beautiful on the skin. It's one of those thin formulas, but really buttery. It stays where you put it and it just looks beautiful. I mean, so beautiful. Now this, they have two shades. I have natural and then they also have warm. Um, and it's $13.99. Again, Physicians Formula, they have sales all the time. So the next one is from Wet n Wild. Um, I think they sent these to me a while ago, but I know you can buy it at Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, etc. Um, these are their highlighting powders. I, From what I can see, they only have two shades. I thought they had three, but maybe they do only have two, because um, that's all I can find. I have Precious Petals, which is a little bit lighter than the other one, which is called Crown of My Canopy. They have this really pretty design. These are $4.99. Did I already say that? Um, but they have this really pretty design, like kind of a leaf flower like design on them. And they're surprisingly nice quality. Sometimes like I've had some of the Wet n Wild Limited, those can be really chalky and just not as pretty on the skin, but these are really, really pretty on the skin. So like I said, Precious Petals for me works the best. These are both kind of deep for my skin tone, so I don't grab for them a lot, but if you do have a deeper skin tone, these are gonna look even more beautiful. So that's something to keep in mind. I wish they had a little bit lighter of one, but it still works. It just, I can almost use it more as a blush topper than I can just as a standalone highlight, but very impressive highlighters. Okay, so the next product is from Hard Candy, and this is their Sheer Envy Prismatic Highlighter Iridescent Pearl Powder. This stuff is, what is it, $6 at Walmart. It is the most powdery thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just so powdery and it's a shame because the, the coloring of it looks pretty, but it's so powdery and the second you kind of wipe the powder away, the highlight is gone. And so for that reason, I was very disappointed considering you can get some amazing highlighters like this next one I'm gonna show you, Makeup Revolution one. It's amazing and it's five bucks. Like the Wet n Wild ones, the Essence ones, those are all cheaper than this one and the quality is like night and day. The next one I wanna talk about is from Makeup Revolution. They sell this at Ulta and it's their Vivid Baked Highlighter. They have five shades and these retail for $6. I have the shade Radiant Lights and it's again, such a pretty, natural looking highlight. It's not super shimmery, there's no glitter, but if you want more of a natural highlight that has a little bit of glow, because you don't wanna like have a stripe, this is perfect. If you're a beginner or not, doesn't matter. It's so beautiful. I really like Radiant Lights. It looks like they have one that's more of like a blush shade called Rose Gold Lights. Kinda wanna try that, but I really like this. It has a really cool kind of design in the actual powder. The only, my only stupid petty gripe is that the the writing wiped away so quickly. And that always makes me so sad. I know that's so dumb, but I wish I could still read it. And I've only used this like probably a little over 10 times just because I have so many highlighters. I love it, but it's already wiped away. Is that really shallow? That's really shallow, I know. And apparently I'm just now seeing, it says in the details that it's only at Ulta. Go figure. The last product I'm going to talk about is hard to buy online. <laughs> it's from Milani and on Milani's website they have seven shades, which surprised me. I didn't realize there were that many shades and it's $10, but the only other place you can buy it online is Beauty Bay. 
and they only have four of the shades and they're $15 there. So if you can find it in store, it's ideal. I found these at, not at Walmart, yeah, at Walmart. Sometimes, I, I know Milani is sold at other random stores, like sometimes you can find it at Walgreens, CVS, but it's so hit or miss. So just keep your eyes peeled because they're not as easy to buy online. I have two shades of their strobe light highlighting powders. I have the shade Day Glow, which is more of a golden tone. And then I also have the shade Afterglow, which is a little bit more ivory-like. But these are some of my favorite drugstore highlighters. The packaging is beautiful. The after effect is beautiful. It's not powdery at all. Just an all around gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. I think my favorite for my skin tone is the lighter one, but I've been wearing the uh, Day Glow, the little bit deeper one, a lot lately, and I really like that even for my skin tone. I guess the giant takeaway with this whole video is that I feel like with highlighters, you can find exactly what you need at the drugstore. You don't have to spend 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars on a highlight because honestly, most of my collection are amazing highlighters. I don't feel the need to reach into my more expensive ones. Now I do because, well, I mean, I spent the money on them. Why would I not use them? But I'm finding myself reaching for drugstore highlighters honestly probably more often than my high-end ones because they do the same thing and I just really like them. So. It's something to keep in mind if you're new to highlighters or if maybe you're just like, gosh, like I'm tired of spending so much money. You don't need to spend a lot of money on highlighters. These are all amazing. I got a new lip product and I feel like it's looking weird. It's the NYX like lip ink and it's wearing off really oddly. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was helpful for you and you like this style, give it a thumbs up so that I know. Definitely check out my other drugstore collection review video of my drugstore foundations. I will link it below. And I hope that you will stick around and watch more videos and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.